Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about Fuzzy Logic Basis Taylor Control of Induction Motor. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is a simulink model developed for that Fuzzy Logic Based Control of uh, Scalar Control of Induction Motor. So here you can see that it have different elements. So this is a DC source and then this is voltage source inverter and this is induction motor. So here we are going to use fuzzy logic based speed control as well as PA. PA is based speed control. Okay. So you have to apply that uh, uh, scalar control for induction motor so first you have to measure the, the speed of the induction machine so the speed of the induction machine uh, is unit is radian per second so that should be converted into revolution per rpm revolution per minute that means rpm so for that you have to multiply it with the 30 divided by pi so it's going to be converted into rpm right so next you have to put back this here right so this is going to be compared with the reference speed and then here we have error under rate of change of error so you have to calculate error rate of change of error so that going to be input for the fuzzy logic controller the fuzzy logic controller output nothing but the omega sl that means slip speed okay so the slip speed and the actual speed of the machine going to be added together okay so this will be provide the, the speed actual speed of the induction machine you have to maintain right so next that actual speed going to be converted into frequency here so by using this gain parameter like you have to use that formula nothing but 120 fp concept okay just you have to calculate uh, n is equal to 120 fp right so just you have to calculate fp equal to p into n is divided by 120 so by using that formula just you have to calculate frequency so that frequency is going to be converted into amplitude okay that means per unit amplitude here that means we are going to divide that frequency actual frequency with the 60 hertz okay so it's going to be converted into the per unit amplitude and then here we have to that based upon the frequency you have to generate the uh, sine wave right three phase sine wave here okay so finally, we will get the three phase uh, sinusoidal waveform here, reference sinusoidal waveform. Uh, it contains the nature of voltage slash F concept, right? V bar of concept, okay? So the voltage and frequency assignment will vary according with the, uh, the speed of the induction machine, okay? So next, that uh, signal, right? Reference voltage signal voltage frequency signal going to be used for generating the pulse so this is going to be taken here so here we are going to compare that, uh, that three three phase uh, reference voltage frequency signal with the triangular wave okay so it will generate the pulse for that uh, voltage source inverter okay so this is going to be control the, the voltage and frequency of the induction machine in order to maintain the uh, in order to track the reference speed okay so this is the concept of a logic based uh, scalar control of induction machine so and also same way we are here we are using pad controller so the pad controller is uh, used for regulate that speed in order to provide the slip speed here okay so next i'm going to simulate this model i'm going to compare both the uh, fuzzy and pad controller so here i'm going to set the uh, the reference speed uh, initially is 1500 rpm and then finally it going to 1000 rpm after after five seconds okay now i'm going to operate this system with the pa controller pad controller and then you have to check the response of the system the system operated with the pad controller So here you can see that this is the response of the 
induction motor speed okay it is having above shoot as well as under shoot and then it take time that means around three seconds to reach the reference speed initially after five seconds the reference speed command is changed from 1500 rpm to 1000 rpm and also you can see that it have under shoot and then it take uh, around uh, 1.5 seconds to reach the reference speed command okay so just i'm going to take this detail okay we have to compare with uh, this response with the fuzzy logic response okay so next i'm going to operate the same system with the fuzzy logic based controllers okay so here i'm going to simulate this model so here you can see that the response is very smooth right it's like a over damp nature okay so and also it reached the speed uh, around 1.25 seconds right here you can see that so it reached 1.25 seconds and then after 5 seconds right speed command is changed from 1500 rpm, RPM to 1000 rpm so you can see that is quickly settled to that uh, an rpm without any other shoot power shoot okay so we can compare the both result of um, pid controller and fuzzy controller here so this is a response of the key pid this is a response of uh, uh, fuzzy controller okay so here you can see that uh, that means it have uh, the pid controller have over shoot and under shoot and then it, it take uh, 3.5 seconds to Reach, reach the reference speed command okay but uh, you can see that in physiology controller it does not have any word should right and then it it, it uh, reach the reference speed command very quickly just around 1.25 seconds okay and then uh, you consider that when, when uh, change in reference speed command occur here 5 seconds from 1500 rpm to 1000 rpm so here you can see that it have uh, uh, understood right and then uh, uh, it reach around uh, uh, six point that means uh, five seconds is command is changing so from that that means it will take around 1.2 seconds to reach the uh, reference speed command okay but here you can see that fuzzy logic control right after the reference speed command change it will take only around 0.5 seconds to reach the uh, reference speed command okay when comparing with the PAD controller, the physiologic based scalar control have better response than PAD controller. So this is a working of physiologic based scalar control of induction motor. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.